We're doing a little experiment here, more of a demonstration than anything else. You can see I have a radiant heater right back there. I've got two pieces of uh, fiberboard, three pieces of fiberboard. The first one is six inches away from it. The second one is 12 inches away, and the third is 18 inches away. Now, I've got temperature probes on each one of these things. What I'm trying to demonstrate here is how radiant heat works and what the difference, uh, what difference distance makes in the radiant heat operation. Let's take a look at what the temperatures are right now on these different probes and uh, maybe that'll give us a little better idea. Okay, waited a few minutes here and we're at about 280 and then the second one is 145 and the third one's 126. But I want you to note something. Now look closely at the closest piece of uh, particle board. Looks like smoke to me. We'll give this a few more minutes and see what happens. A few minutes more here. See, we're at 370 degrees, 158, and 137. So, and our first one is smoking. Okay, now, look what's going on. Pretty much tells the tale, doesn't it? So, the closer it is, the hotter it is. Hot enough that, uh, well, I better take this out of there because that's not a pyrometer. So it actually catches it on fire if it gets close enough. So there's the difference. Radiant heat how much does it change in its BTUs output and its temperature? Quite a bit. So it tells us that as the distance increases, the temperature and the BTUs absorbed are quite a lot lower than at those close uh, distances. So radiant heat when it's close to you, it's very effective at warming you, but it drops off considerably as the distance increases. I can't tell you physically, you know, through physics, what exactly happens and how much it drops. There's a lot of variation in there that I wouldn't know of anyway. But it does tell me that radiant heat is far more effective when you're close to it. And when you're as close as that, you could catch something on fire. Anyway, that's a little demonstration on radiant heat.